So, uh, why don't we begin, everybody? Um, okay, wait, first of all, I'm sorry, I'm on record saying this now, but I can always edit this part out. If anybody knows, if anybody knows who the person is that thought it was very amusing to unscrew the top of the Caesar salad, Caesar dressing, uh, you suck, whoever you are. Um, uncool, yes, thank you, extraordinarily uncool. Um, and I know it's funny, I know it's a prank, but you ruined my freaking pants, whoever you were, and I don't like that. Now, I have to, these are literally my, I don't want to say they're my favorite pants, but I mean, they, you know, I like when, when the laundry gets done, these are the, these are, these are the ones I like grab. <laughs> and now, they're always going to look like I've peed my pants. Are and you sure you aren't the one who didn't throw the top on all the way? I picked it up and shook it. <laughs> you know, it's those ones with the top and the bottom. Yeah, and I think you were the nozzle facing that one. What? Why are you thinking about the I wasn't. No, no, I wasn't. It's like the, the, the nozzle is on the base and the opening is that wide and it screws on and I went to shake it. The bottom fell out. Well, yeah, next time I probably will make sure it's screwed on. Thank you so much. Uh, I see that your clothes are clean, so I should probably listen to you. But uh, anyway, um, yeah, the whole thing fell off. It was totally full. It fell. It bounced off the railing and into me. Uh, I'm still angry. What? I didn't. I would like to think that I maintained control pretty well. You did. You did. I I I just I stood for a while. I just stood and I looked down in the middle of the cafeteria. It was empty. Luckily, it was like between lunches, so people were sitting out there, but nobody was in the main area, which is good because I I I would have been even more irritated if that had happened with lots of people there to laugh. At. But um, anyway. Let's get on with our live show. Uh, alrighty, I need a live order. Alright folks, so we're uh, we're getting into the good stuff now. We're talking about the mathematics. Of exponential growth. Okay, so here's the thing. Here's the thing about exponential growth that you have to think about in terms of population, resources, energy, the stuff we're going to be studying is that, well, exponential growth is characterized by doubling. That's really the thing, doubling. Um, Doubling, like the the rice thing. That's why we started with that. The rice on the chessboard. Each square you double the amount of rice, and within what? Fifteen, we had more rice than we could put actually on the chessboard, right? It doesn't take so the, the thing about it doubling and it starts slow and it gets out of hand fast. Once it starts to get, once it starts to go big, you know, two, one, two, four, eight, sixteen, those aren't so big, but then you get into, you know, 512, 1024, 2048, it's 4056, etc. Then it starts getting big in great big steps. And so, you know, when we think of, you know, human population, Let's say um, it starts small and then you know it doubles over a long period of time and but then the next time it doubles it's twice as much and then the next time it's even bigger and then it's bigger and then it's bigger. And then, I don't even have room anymore already, it's, it's uh, bigger, and then it's much bigger, 
And then, you know, I could do one more, but the point is, every time, every doubling is equal to the entire amount that came before. And so, the point is that when doubling starts to happen, things get pretty crucial pretty fast as far as resources, energy, things like that. When we double the amount, like, okay, the, um, we talk about doubling time. Um, I'll write that in here, why not? Doubling time. What do you think that is? Doubling time. The time it takes to double. Thank you, the time it takes to double. Uh, when we're talking about population, this can be true for your investments, not my investments unfortunately, but uh, other people's investments double over time because they get interest or whatever. Um, but, so the, the time it takes for an amount, whether that's people, money, to double. For example, um, the doubling time of the world about between, depending on who you ask, uh, 61 years. That's the amount of time it takes the world's population to double at the rate it's growing now, which is about one point something percent, one point one five, one point two, something like that. Uh, and so that means that we have what about seven billion people now, and that means that in sixty-one years, first of all, I'm assuming I'll be gone. I don't know. I know I'm a, an incredibly physical fit specimen. I might have lived longer than that. But um, you'll be old, right? You guys will be 70-ish, 78, something like that. 40. <laughs> I'm not living past 40. That's my goal. That's, uh, that, that, that needs to be my assumption about myself, but we'll see. You'll be 78 years old. Did you use a calculator to do that? No, I did that in my head. Oh, you did that in your head. Okay, good. <laughs> Just checking in there. Um, okay. So, yeah, you guys will be 70 years old. 14 billion people, twice as many. And, and then, you know, theoretically, in another 60-some years, there'll be uh, 28 billion people. Probably not. There'll be other factors that, that kick into play long before that. It's, uh, well, I don't want to talk too much more about it. But, so the thing is, we need to do a little figuring about how this works. Okay, I'm going to erase this part now. Does anybody need to write that down before I do that? Okay, I'll erase this first. Okay, and so the thing is, um, like, let's let's look at. I, this is what I want to do. I want to look at the doubling time of the exercise that you all just did. So, if you have your data handy. Could you look at it? Um, we did we did three things. We we did unrestricted growth. We did limited birth control. And we did zero population growth. Okay, and so let's think through the, the mathematics of this. We, um, well, okay, I just, let's just talk about doubling time before we talk about formulas or anything like that. I just want to know if you look at your data. Um, to go from 10 to 20, excuse me, oh that was them out there, I thought that was one of you guys, 
Um, so to go from 10 to 20, can I just get uh, people shout out like how many throws did it take to go from 10 to 20? Four. Four, I have, okay. Four. Four, four. Like Other without people? going over? Two, took you two, yeah. really? Yeah, in the second two. round, yeah. Not in the second round, in the, second. In, the, in the first round, to go from 10 to 20. On your second row. Okay, so you did it in two. Okay. Three. Three. Two. Two. Wow, you all are doing some serious group producing there. Um, the other, the other class averaged about. The other class averaged just over four. Yeah, it's not our fault. You guys are, you guys are, fat, reproducing fast. Be careful. Um, okay, how about to go from uh, twenty to forty? Nine. Nine? Oh, no, no. Uh, five. Five. Yeah. Five, okay. Seven, six. Six? Seven. Seven? Four. Four? Six. Six. Okay. And... Forty to eighty. Forty to eighty. Four. Four. Just do the last one, we'll do 80 to 160, since we're not going to have complete data on getting to 320. Uh, we'll stop there. So last one, 80 to 160. Three, four, three, four, three, four. Five. Five. Two cards about four. Yeah. Four, three. It's between four and three. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. But we went, well, to we went from 132 to 175. Maybe four is back there. Oh, I see. Well, so it would be, let's just say four. We'll round up to four. How about that? So, 8, 15, 20, 33, 43, 50, 61, 68, 70, 5, no, 76, 80, divided by 20, 80 divided by 20, average, 4. Okay, thank God. Uh, so, so, so the numbers work out to an average of about four. All right. So, with limited birth control, where we we cut down the amount of birth, would we expect our growth rate, our doubling time, to be more then? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Because if we're growing, basically what we did was we cut down, we cut about twenty five percent of the births out. Um, and uh, actually, we decreased the birth rate even more than that, but we'll talk about that in a little bit. Um, so, all right, so again, let's just, let's just blow through this really quick. 10 to 20? We started up. Limited, oh yeah, yeah, wait, wait, never mind, never mind, never mind. That's right, we didn't do, uh, so we'll just, what do we do? 100 to 200 is all we can really do. So this is just more of a survey. Yeah, we can use that. Let's do 200 to We'll go back and... One hundred, two hundred, six, eight, seven, 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 and six. Okay. Um, and just, just curious, what, what about with you guys? You did ten to twenty and. Ten to twenty and four. Four. And then twenty to forty. Well, let's, so it's not, it falls in about here. So let's say uh, 14, 21, 28, 34, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's seven. about 6 point something, about 6.8, 6.9, something like that. Okay, and zero population growth, which was, of course, when we tried to make, you know, think about it, we're trying to make the population not grow by cutting the number of births in half. Uh, or counting the same number of births as deaths, really. What, what about that 100 to 200? What do we think? What do we got? We didn't get higher than 10. We went from 97 to 109 in the 12 rounds. So, not, so, so you did 12 rounds and you didn't really go anywhere. Okay? So, so we're, we're talking about 
12 plus 11 plus, and you did you actually make it from 100 to 200? Yeah, okay. So you said 12 rounds, and then a lot of people just didn't get anywhere. Um, it's sort of a flat line. Okay, and let's let's talk about this real quick. Oops, I didn't mean to erase that. Or if we were to uh, graph these, just to just to remind you, like visual visual depiction of data. They're always important in science. So if we're going to graph this, I would think that maybe something like that, exponential, slight growth at the beginning, followed by rapid growth at the end. I would say that with this, whoop, just less, the same thing, but less so, sort of. And then with zero population growth, ideally, you'd be looking almost at a flat line. Sorry I wrote so low there, can't see it, but anyway. People at home, there's not much to see down here, just flat line. Okay, so now I get to introduce you to, I know that you're sitting there thinking, but Auerbach, if there was only a formula we could learn, if there was only some math that we could do, that would make this fit so nicely into the way I think about the about this stuff, and I'm here to help you with that. Um, there is a formula that you can use. It's called the doubling time equation, and I will write it up here. Um, doubling time. Um, otherwise known as T sub D equals 70 divided by growth rate. Or, written formula style, uh, let me put a box around this. Let's see. T sub D equals 70 divided by R. This works for anything where you start with a principal amount that then grows by percentages which get added on to the principal. So this could be for interest on an investment. Um, your rate of growth would be considered like your interest. So like the world, the world growth rate we can figure it out. Well, we could figure it out, but um, doubling time. Um, oh, also, alternately, if you want to solve for R, if you want to find the rate, it goes like this. R equals 70 divided by doubling time. And you're thinking, but we need an example, Mr. Arbach. I'd sure love to work out an example of this so I can see what you're talking about. Okay. Uh, like, for example, let's see, if, let's see what the growth rate of the world is. Because we know that the doubling time of the world, as I just said, is 60, right? And so we'll do it with the rate, actually. We want to know the rate. We know the doubling time, so we'll do this one. So R, the growth rate of the world, is 70 divided by 61, and if I get my calculator here, 70 divided by 61 is 1.15. 1 1.15. 1 percent is, so your rate is always going to be in percent and your doubling time is always going to be in years. So, doubling time in years, 70 divided by the growth rate, which is a percent. Okay. So, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk for just a couple minutes more. Then we'll do a few examples. Um, and then what I'll do is I'll just give you some problems to work on for the rest of the class. And you'll be cool. Okay. That homework too, or no? What's that? Is that what's wrong to the problem? No, but thank you for reminding me. Um, thank you.
Don't be mad at Lachlan, I was going to remember this eventually. Oh no! Lachlan's like, oh crap. <laughs> so, anyway, yes, you are going to do, there is an assignment to finish for the uh, thing we just did. You, you weren't actually done when we did the, when you got all your data. I'm sorry. I'll tell you about that in just a second. Okay, so... All right. If we let's let's do let's do this based on the exercise that we just did. So um, unrestricted. I shouldn't have erased that part. Which, uh, by the way, we figured out our doubling time was four. Um, so let's figure out our percent growth just from the uh, the probabilities on the our dice or our beads. So we have the holes that were births, right? So, out of six sides, how many were births? Two. Two, right. So, two out of six equals birth. Oh, so <laughs> close. So, so You were so sort of so close. It went down next time. And then, the silver side was deaths, right? And so, one, one out of six was deaths. Right. So one out of six was deaths, and so that means that your growth rate is what? One out of six, right? Because if you think about it, two out of six were births, one out of six was deaths. If you subtract your death from your birth, you end up with one out of six for your growth rate. And to turn it into a percentage, we'll do 1 divided by 6. Which gives us about 17%. Actually, 16.6. We'll, we'll do that. 16... 16.6%. Um, Alright, so let's put it into the formula and see what happens. So, um, TD... Doubling time equals 70 divided by 16.6 percent. 70 divided by 16.6 equals 4. I love it. I'm geeking out really hard on that. Actually, that makes me really happy because this is, this is what we found, right? This was the number that we got when we averaged the growth rate, the doubling time for our actual throwing the dice and doing it. It turns out that our populations doubled about every four throws. And when we do the doubling time formula, it tells us that our population should double about every four throws. Geek heaven. Um, I'm loving that. And so, anyway, that's, that's, how you, that's how you do these.